My name is Clara Landers and I use she, her pronouns. I'm a JOFJ board member, co-chair of the Baltimore Leadership Council, and former Heschel honoree. I've been involved in JOFJ since the very first community meeting in Baltimore nearly six years ago. I'm thrilled to be here at the Heschel Vision Experience to share a video with some highlights from our powerful work in Baltimore over the past year. My name is Joe Magar and I use he, him pronouns. I live in Baltimore City and I'm a member of the Baltimore Action Team working on police accountability, water justice, renters' rights, and fair elections. Our first victory this past year came just one day after the 2019 Heschel Vision Awards when the Baltimore City Council passed the Water Accountability and Equity Act. Making the Water Accountability and Equity Act in Baltimore City took years of campaigning by JUFJ and our coalition partners. This groundbreaking legislation will make water permanently affordable and water bills fair for residents across the city. With the Baltimore Right to Water Coalition, we also delayed a planned water rate increase and are continuing to fight for strong and swift implementation of the Water Accountability and Equity Act to make sure its protections are real and forcible and available to assist people as we all navigate this pandemic and economic crisis. We have been working with partners on police accountability in Baltimore since 2015. In this moment of national outrage and uprising due to ongoing racist police violence, we are more called than ever to transition away from a reliance on police to an investment in black communities and development of alternatives to policing. We are working with Organizing Black and our other partners from the Campaign for Justice, Safety, and Jobs to reduce the Baltimore police budget and invest in life-giving services for the people of our city. Our coalition recently fought for and won a $10 million cut from the city police budget and a charter amendment that passed city council that will let the council move money into real community safety. In both Baltimore City and Baltimore County, we fought for the public financing of elections, a policy that helps regular people run for office without relying on big corporate donors. Both of these efforts have advanced in the past year, though there's more to do. Our work with the Baltimore Renters United Coalition led to rent relief for thousands of residents throughout the pandemic, freezing rents, banning late fees, and securing $13 million for rental assistance and legal services for city residents. And now, the coalition has introduced a right to counsel bill, which will guarantee tenants access to an attorney when they face the possibility of eviction. This will dramatically shift the balance of power in rent court, preventing thousands of evictions and pave the way for housing justice in the city. There are many days when a better world seems unlikely or downright impossible. Yet the victories achieved by local organizing in Baltimore gives me hope in the possibility of a more just future. Thank you for working together this year. Encourage, hope, and resilience.